today I am going to make fajitas. Now fajitas, so easy to make, nice, quick, and you can throw in as much veg or as much chicken or many toppings as you want. And um, it's a quick and healthy um, meal for anyone, whether you're cutting or gaining. And, um, I'm making it with chicken, you can make it with beef, you can make it with pork, whatever your preference is, um, even like maybe prawns, something. But um, it's all about uh, getting the spices in and we're gonna have like little wraps and some lettuce and um, salad with it and some cheese and my usual quark, which people have been asking me about. So quark is just like a light, soft cheese. It kind of um, has a thicker consistency than a yogurt, like a thick yogurt, but um, it has a very high protein content and it can be used as an alternative to like sour cream or creme fraiche. Um, like it, I used it in my uh, healthy soup, which you'll see a few videos back. I've used it um, on top of my chili to cool it down, and today I'll be using it just on top of the fajitas again, just to cool it down. It's like the yin and the yang with the spicy and the uh, quark just to cool it down. So I hope you enjoy it. And here is what you'll need. I've got me some peppers, so just some mixed coloured peppers. I picked up, well I got Lex to pick up, some halal chicken breasts. So there's like, they're so lean and like when you cook them, they're massive. Look how big they are. Look. That's my face. That is a chicken breast. Now that we got a kilo of chicken breasts, which is three massive chicken breasts. And that was four pounds from the halal butchers. So and there's nothing on them. There's no fat or anything to be cut off. So that can be just straight marinated and used. So I'm gonna marinate them in, I got this uh, Nando's Puri Puri Salt. So it's like a medium, it's not too hot because I don't want Lex to blow his brains out with the spice. So Nando's Puri Puri Sauce, I've got some um, paprika, smoked paprika because I love my smoked paprika, and just some pepper. And then I'll use some of the um, fries, garlic infused oil uh, on the pan. And then I'm just gonna rub the spices into the chicken and then just lightly fry them up and the same with the peppers and that'll be it pretty simple straightforward and not much to it easy easy peasy one chicken breast gave that much chicken and that's all ready to go i'm just gonna marinate it now and then fry it up in the wok. Simple. So I'm just going to chop up my peppers and I've decided for easiness of weighing out my macros uh, I am going to fry the chicken and the peppers in a separate pan because then I can portion it out that way a bit easier. So if you want and you, you feel confident uh, you're just making one portion for yourself or just for two people but as me and Lex are having completely different portion sizes it'll be easier we need to do it in two separate pans and um, sometimes when we're dieting I will completely separately I'll cook the same meal twice uh, for me and Lex so that we can macro it easier I know it's creating like washing up for myself but it's just if you're wanting to be accurate with your macros so always chop on a separate board your chicken and your veg you don't want to cross contaminate no 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 I'm just weighing up my peppers there and peppers are very light on carbs and um, so they're a good option to add in I don't like them raw I only actually started eating peppers when I went to Argentina a couple of years ago I hated peppers and I started eating them cooked and I don't mind them raw but um you know it's kind of uh, for me it was an acquired taste I used to be a really fussy eater like super fussy. All I eat was pasta and chicken. And he just got a rogue pepper there. So yeah, I was so fussy. So yeah, it was all chicken. Um, oh, was it chocolate? Obviously, <laughs> um, chicken, pasta, cheese, cheese sauces. Um, at one point when I was younger, all I would eat was um, chicken burgers. That was it. And then my boobs grew, so I blamed it on the hormones they injected into the breasts of the chickens. But my boobs grew because I had enormous boobs um, when I was younger. 
and then they disappeared when I trained and then they reappeared when I had fakies put in as Lex calls them might be FTs big fake titties so but I'll talk about that another time yeah we have 468 grams of peppers. So that's raw peppers. I'll cook all that up. I probably won't even use it all. And I'll add in some red onion, because I love red onion. And fry it all up. Yum, 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 yum. So we got our smoked paprika. Yum. I just think it gives a real smoky taste to everything. I love it. Add it to everything. As you can see, I've got the chicken and the peppers and the peppers. And Lex goes to LA tomorrow. And I'm going to be on my own in the house. But hopefully I'll get loads of editing done because I won't have to cook so much. <laughs> and clean up after him. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit jealous. He's going to go and see Mickey and Christian and Mark Fit and Mark's girlfriend Kat, who I still haven't met, but I'm really looking forward to meeting her at FIBO. Um, but I gotta stay home, mind the dogs, and uh, get those boom baby orders out. Um, so that is what I will be doing. But I will super miss my Lexi. I love you, Lexi. Oh, you can watch my YouTube when you're away when you miss me. So I've decided that I am going to add some Frank's wings sauce to the chicken. I won't add it to the. Um, peppers just to the chicken and add a bit more spice hopefully Lex won't mind last night he had loads of macros left and um, well just protein he did all his fats and carbs I don't know how and uh, he had loads of protein left so he's like what can I eat and I was like um, I don't know tuna so I was like I'll make you some tuna I'll put some quark through it and maybe some like spicy sauce so I, I got out the Nando's uh, peri peri salt and I added that and some quark and but I didn't realise how salty it is because I added some garlic salt as well. So I was just like, do 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 do. And then uh, he started eating it and he was just like, oh, how salty is this? And I was like, no, it's fine, it's fine. And he was just like, I'll struggle through. So he ate it, but his lips were all dry and everything. Wrong. So I have to kind of rein in how much um, salt and stuff I put in this food. I'm surprised he wasn't all fluffy today because when I eat a lot of salty food, I get like, I retain a lot of water and like my abs completely disappear. Um, it happened at Body Power last year. We went for an all you can eat Chinese um, one of the nights. Everyone went, and of course, I ate far too much soy sauce. And that night, I just like was like, I was like, Lex, what am I going to do? We still have one day left at the expo. So anyone who met me on Sunday is probably like, yeah, Lainey's not that ripped. She's not that shredded. But I'm coming to Body Power shredded this year. So be warned, I'm not going to have all you can eat Chinese. So I'm going to cook the chicken first as it takes a bit longer. And get that. So I've got the pan lightly sprayed already with my Fry Light spray. And just add that chicken in. Oh, it looks really good. I don't know how. If it's too hot, I'll just put some lime juice on it. Lime juice kind of counteracts the spice a little bit, takes it out. Um, I tried that last night with Lex's tuna. I tried to put some lemon on it. Kind of helpful, not really. So we got this chicken. Um, for the salsa, I usually add a salsa on top. And some quark, obviously, is going to be our sour cream. But salsa, I'm just going to use some chopped tomatoes. I don't know whether I'll use the one with chili or the one with garlic, but um, I'll ask Lex how hot he wants it. Um, we'll just add that in, a little spoonful on top, and it's just like a pop of like that. Okay, now it's time for our lovely peppers. With chicken, transfer it to the back ring there, just sizzling away on a low heat. Just turn that down, make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Oh, I just love how colourful it is. I love colourful food. I don't know how people do the whole chicken and rice in a bag. Oh my god, depressing much. Oh, you must have colour on your plate or I will unfriend you. I actually think that one of my criteria for friends now are people who like food and enjoy their food. Pussy eaters just do not mix well with me. 
I'm not talking about people who have like diet restrictions. Like I have friends who are um, celiac. I've got like vegetarian friends. That's fine as long as they're adventurous with their foods outside of their restrictions. It's like people who like sit and eat like two bits of meat on their plate. It's like what the hell? You only have one life. Enjoy your food. You can still be slim and fit and healthy and enjoy your food. So it's almost ready. Very quick. It's only after taking like about 15 minutes. And we have opted that I am going to have these um, Mission Mini Deli Wraps. I'm going to have two of them because the macros on them are pretty good. It's uh, 2 grams of fat and 50, 16 grams of carbs per wrap. So I'm going to have two of them. And Lex is going for his one squarish wrap. Um, the Warburton's ones, which are I think about 25 grams. So I'm actually having more carbs than he is today. And um, yeah, this looks pretty good. So there we go. This be my snapshot. And then we have chicken, separate little flying pan. That's looking really good. It's not too spicy, but Lex has decided that He's sick of having a runny nose when he eats from me adding too much chilli. So we are going to have the uh, chopped tomatoes with garlic as our salsa. So I've made us a little salad for with our uh, fajitas. So you can add it in. I've added it actually into my wraps. And it is spinach, rocket, some cucumber and some tomatoes. That will cool it all down if it's a bit too spicy. And then I'm just going to weigh out our veg and our chicken and then we're going to add a little bit of uh, less than 50% cheese and a little bit of quark and this is a Weight Watchers quark so um, really good macros on that and then some of our salsa and that'll be it. So here we have it guys, the constructed fajitas, healthy fajitas, that's Lex's one. He gets extra chicken and extra veg and one wrap, but I'm a fatty and I get two. What do you reckon, Lex? Look good? And what have we decided on the salsa? No salsa needed. We don't need salsa. Doesn't need it. So That's going to be juicy enough. Yeah. This is amazing. And look, I decided, Lex, that people who do not have colour on their plate are no longer my friends. Beige plates? Yes. No, no. No. Fussy no, no. eaters, not my Fussy friends. Fussy eaters be gone. Yeah. Not for us. And one thing I would like to say is that when I make food, I make just food. When Lainey makes food, she makes meals. Ah. <laughs> you're going to miss me when you're in LA. I'm going to substitute you for pancakes. I said to Lex, since I'm not going to LA, he's not allowed to have pancakes. He's not allowed to have chipotle. He's not allowed to have frozen yogurt. It's just dreams. It's these just are dreams. These, these are my restrictions. Just dreams. So he'll just be sitting there going, "Sorry guys, can't, I can't have it." Promise nothing. <laughs> well, he has promised me a present, so we'll see what present he gets me. Woo